matches? Yeah. Okay. Cool. All, right. <laughs> All right, cool. So, you're blocking me. Sorry. <laughs> All right, Wait. cool. So, yeah, um, <laughs> doing another podcast. Uh, today, I'm joined by um, Leslie. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, but do you want to like, introduce yourself and kind of tell us where, where, where we are right now? And Okay, my name like, is. Yeah. <laughs> do I look at the camera? Okay. My, I move over a little bit. Okay. My name is Leslie. Um, I live in Taipei right now, so we're actually in Taipei. Yeah. We're at a coffee shop called Elephant Machine, and um, I'm currently getting my MBA degree here. Mm-hmm. And I run an Instagram account called Taipei Foodie. Yeah, yeah. follow me. She has a lot of followers. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, um, I was just I wanted to like sometimes you listen to our podcast right, right yeah but no, i just wanted to like talk to someone like we're all kind of like the same age mm-hmm. we're the same age and the whole point of the podcast is kind of like talk about things that we're like thinking about mm-hmm. uh, I, I, what i think about right. and you know because i don't feel i feel like people don't usually talk about like these topics of like right. like what, i don't know like escapism and right. like like social media and the effects of that and so I kind of wanted to like talk to you about some things that you were maybe experiencing and um, I think today's topic that we want to talk about is basically social media and the effects of it whether like the things that it causes like approval seeking or maybe even a culture of like narcissists so yeah that's kind of like what we're going to talk about today and so like the way like you can like feel free to ask me questions if you're interested or if you're not interested, don't ask me questions. <laughs> but I was just, just like get, get to the start of it. Like, like why, like, like you came to me to talk with the topic of approval seeking. So mm-hmm, right. in social media, like, why do you feel like this is kind of relevant to your life and why is it important? Um, well, I think social media is definitely a part of everyone's everyday life right now. Mm-hmm. You know, like all your friends are on social media, either on Facebook, or on Instagram, or they use some sort of social media platform. So it definitely is something that we um, we are connected, mm-hmm. you know, in our in our life or in our friendship circle. Um, so I think social media plays not just well, at least for me, because I run an Instagram account that I post food pictures, I share food pictures. Um, but initially, I didn't expect it would become sort of, I guess, big yeah. in Taiwan. Um, initially, I just wanted it to be something I do for fun. Yeah. Um, but then, as the time goes on, you realize, oh, it, social media can actually play a bigger role right. in just sharing the moments of your life. Mm-hmm. It can generate, you know money it yeah. can generate it can generate be, uh, new business mm-hmm. so that's when I realized the social media is actually you know taking over our life one step at, at, see, at a time yeah gotcha yeah. like it's it sounds to me like it's almost like something you came and get rid of because it's exactly. so integral such an integral right. part of culture right and so it's really cool how like you like it just became like so it started out something's really small but then it slowly kind of like you saw the power of it and you saw how your like your success in it basically like like kind of allow you to see the different aspects of it right, right. both the, the good and the ugly and the, right, right. Definitely. um so like yeah so I don't because I don't really buy it to be like social media sucks because there's so many great things about it like yeah. you just said like generating money mm-hmm. um, like broadcasting information yeah. and sharing great mm-hmm. for you like great places like food yeah so like can you kind of tell me like your relationship with like the, almost like because we just talked like the good stuff so like tell me like some of the bad stuff that can kind of are, that come out of yeah. social media right? so definitely I I like social media because it creates content, it creates information, so you can get a lot of different inspiration from it, but at the same time, you know, you can, there's still the ugly side of social media where it's people want to get 
likes yeah. or they want to get followers. Right. So they do things that not necessarily it's you know something that they would normally do, but then they would. Really. For okay. example, like I know people that would go to restaurants and they would order things they don't want to eat, but. They know that it's gonna look good on pictures, no, so they order that. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. It, no, no, no. Well, yeah. I can tell you off camera. I'm just kidding. Um, okay. No, yeah. So people do that, and then you know, initially it'll just be like, okay, this is maybe you know the way, you know, like. I'm not trying to like judge them because yeah, if they can get if getting likes is what they want, then you know, go for it. But then I would just think that. Social media is supposed to be a genuine,、um, genuine tool or genuine platform. But now it seems to me it's more, you know, trying to get approval from others. You know, you're not actually doing th- the things you like, or you're not eating the things you like. But you're only doing that because you want something else.、Okay. So、can you elaborate on like genuine platform? Um, you know. I guess. Well, let's take Instagram as an example because it's Instagram is probably my most used、yeah. social media.、Um, I would say have you know the genuine aspect of it is you know I would share pictures of my my life, you know my friends or、yeah. a picture of what I'm doing. Yeah. To people that I care about, you know, the friends around me,、okay. uh, or my family,、um, you know, that's I feel like that's the genuine aspect of it. You're just sharing you mean, what like, you're going through. Yeah. You, could,、um, you you mean like public or private? Account? What, actually, because it kind of gets. There's a great area of yeah, problem, problem. like because you like, did like allow those people to like look at their right, stuff. Right,、so. right. Okay, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I don't know if you noticed, but. A lot of people they would post a picture on their account and then they would hashtag a bunch of stuff. Okay. And then I mean hashtagging is nice. If you want to get exposure,、yeah. you, if you post a food picture, you want to get exposure, you'll tag you know food or you know donut, yeah, yeah. coffee, whatever you're eating, you know in the picture. Right? But then I noticed that a lot of people started t- tagging things like a like for like. Follow for follow, and I'm just like, you know,、yeah. if it's a business account or、yeah. if it's something you wanna, you know, I don't know, no, no. like, why would you hashtag、yeah. that on your, like, do you prefer getting likes by a lot of strangers and none from your friends,、yeah. or you would What, prefer,、yeah. you know, getting、Absolutely. likes? Yeah. Well, it almost sounds like there's like a, like. It's created like a culture of people who、right. just wanna. They want the, the yeah. They want the they want the, the image like、right. the the. the、uh, I'm the cool kid with、yeah. a bunch of likes. Yeah, like because the likes, <laughs> likes are all the currency of like、um, right. social media is all the same really. Yeah. If you like is a like, there's no like, this person is important to me, therefore their like matters more. Like, right, right. There's right. no differentiation between、exactly. different people. But going back to kind of that. Larger issue, but like, do you feel like it almost sounds like you're saying that social media is creating a culture of like narcissists and people who really want are seeking the attention of others? Do you feel like do you feel do you feel like it's right to do you, do you feel like it's almost like they're victims of it, or do you feel like it's like they are the bad villains? You know, in a way, I would say they're the victim. <laughs> Back. What? Okay. Okay. Alright. <laughs> well, in a way, I think they're the victims of it. You know, some people, because you see, obviously, you still get that peer pressure. I would say, like, you see friends or people around you living that good life that they post on social media. You'll, you know, you you think to yourself, like, you know, I wanna. Be like them. I want to,、right. you know, go out and have fun or eat good food, and then、right. share on my social media, and then not pretend you have a life, but then to actually showcase the people, like the good side、yeah. of of your life. But、okay. with the, that, there's nothing wrong with that.、Yes. You know, I wouldn't say it's wrong.、Yeah. But then you sort of, you know, as you know, the years go by, you kind of notice that there are a lot of. People on social media, they tend to post content that are, I guess, in a way, you can kind of tell they're trying to get yeah, attention. They、yeah. want to get、yeah. approval from others. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um. 
I think the reason I think it's really interesting because like we're using this tool. It's not like it was created as a tool, right? right? But then now we're seeing it as like a megaphone where you can broadcast yourself and tell the world that your voice, like you matter and right. you exist. Mm -hmm. um, so I think my question. I have another question here for you. Like it was like. Mm, like, how do you use social media as a tool instead of a megaphone to broadcast that you still exist? You know, because, like, right. that that feeling, like, I do it all the time where you post on Instagram, you feel like when you get those likes, it's like people notice so you. Rare. And you, and you have to kind of, you feel the need that, to remind the world that you still exist. Right. It's, like, really sad, but how do you get a, like... Do you just not play the game? Do you, know, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're all part yeah, of this yeah. thing. It's not yeah, just like it's a, like I'm also guilty. You know, I still post story, you know, yeah. when I know I should be enjoying the activity I'm right. doing at the moment. Like, yeah. you know, you have to be present in the moment, but then you still can't help but yeah. lift your phone up and then That's record so sad, everything, actually. right? Um, it, it just, you know, you still have that, I don't know, it's not, it's almost intuitive for people and myself too you know to you know when you're through a ride you pick up your phone and you take a picture okay. it's yeah. yeah um but i guess yeah. it's you know it just you just gotta know when to actually put your phone down it's crazy you know and then i would say to use that as a tool because there's a lot of great things about social media mm -hmm. you know you get inspirations there are accounts that yeah focus on one specific yeah. category like lifestyle or yeah. adventure or you know like all these different sharing platforms and you can still get a lot of information and content from it um, but it's just when you think about the things you do on social media I guess people have to be very self-conscious that why they're doing this or why they they want to pull themselves selfies in a row or you know like what they're trying to achieve yeah. but obviously you can still post selfies yeah. of yourself if you feel like it right. but it's just that sometimes you kind of feel like oh you need to post a selfie because you you want to remind people that oh you're still there you know you're still living a good life okay. I, I, I guess it's like a mind you have to change your mindset mm -hmm. you have so there's to, a right way of using social media either. yeah okay. definitely I'm not sure if I'm making any point no no you definitely are it's yeah. like there's it seems like you wanna there like it's we we've established it's powerful so it's almost like self control and discipline and exactly. those things are needed in order to like not fall victim yeah. to the other side of social media and stuff yeah. like that, right? Yeah. But um, people can definitely argue, you know, it's just social media. Do we have to take this so seriously? Mm -hmm. Or if, you know, like if they want to post ten selfies themselves, just let them do it. You don't have to like, right. look at them. But then, I feel like it's um, it's just that the platform and all these, I guess I wouldn't say victims or you know these these people like they kind of generate or or like the way social media works sort of manipulate the people um the people on it you know the people that are on the platform the way they they function. So would you say? They are or not? They're not. You think they're in control, or do you think the people who? I think the community sort of foster uh -huh. this kind of behavior, where okay. people are becoming more and more narcissistic about themselves. Gotcha. The yeah. community, like the Facebook, yeah. or, like, or, or like just any uh -huh. social media. Got it. So do you think that it's so okay? So it's not the companies who are pulling the strings here. It's the community who is allowing them and then just going with it, you feel? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. I don't agree with you, but, <laughs> but that's fine. The reason why I don't agree is because I don't think people have as much like self-control as right. they... The self control is like no, there's no guide when you first got started on social media to like, okay, like use it for this amount of time, but then these are the consequences, or you should use it for this, but like, like there was no like how to, or there was there's no like manual on 
what to do with yeah what to do how to do it and then so people just kind of like let like it just like it just like start pretty yeah like, it's, it's a pretty, natural process yeah exactly but like this is what happens when you give everyone a megaphone and a camera and okay <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You're like, you're, I know, no no I know what you're saying okay. I mean like the companies definitely play a part of fostering this community um, you know just by the algorithm or the yeah, posts you see you know you see the most like posts yeah. right or in their explore page you'll see pictures with more likes or accounts with more followers but in the end the people in this community are the ones that are posting so that's that's interesting. I think it's it's because of this part's like really slippery, so I guess I don't think that what are we talking about? Okay, so I, all right, so I think it's the the company, and you think it's the people. Right. You think you're allowing? Yeah. You're okay, but before you allow, you have to be. A, don't you have to be aware of what is happening? Do you think most people are aware of this issue, or do you think? But we have to understand, like we're actually pretty. Like we're. I think we. I think you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you like we as in us two? Yes, or? yes. Okay. yes. <laughs> I think like we we received like pretty good like culture and like education like to like right, kind of see right. different sides of like how things are created and actually I can't say that because we're only like twenty. <laughs> But I think we like working at different companies. You do understand like there is a whole like right. there's right. what consumer what yeah. consumers get, and then there's a whole like behind the scenes right. of the creation yeah. of it. And it's not like you just see the the tip of the iceberg of, of what they want to show you. Both like 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 for example, this coffee shop, right? We don't know like how many times like someone like scrubbed the bottom of this to create this particular experience for us, right? We just get the final product, which is a cup of coffee and a table and like aircon and all this like good stuff, but. It was manufactured, and someone thought about that for us. And like, I feel like at some point there is like YouTube's like autoplays and Netflix's autoplays, and yeah, like at some point in time, like 